What's up guys? I hope you are all doing well during quarantine. I hope you're safe. I hope you're staying healthy. Everyone keeps telling me to support local businesses, which just translates to eat more fast food and I can't do it anymore. I need some more low carb fast food alternatives, which I can't find any. Anyways, we were craving Five Guys hardcore and we needed a way to satisfy this craving without eating hundreds of carbs. So we decided to do the first edition of low carb fast food. We're doing fast food healthy. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a Five Guys burger at home, along with those Five Guys Cajun fries, my absolute favorite snack in the world. So to make this homemade and healthy, for our burger, we're gonna be using a combination of a lettuce wrap and a portobello mushroom to create what is really similar to a bun. I absolutely love this combination. Tofu gets such a bad wrap, and I think it's just because people don't know how to cook it correctly, and it's really tricky to do. So I'm gonna show you how to cook tofu, and it's going to unlock a whole world of low-carb snacks. If you're new here, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button because I'm a new YouTube channel and it's very hard to enter this space. And if you are new here, let me know in the comments so that I can properly welcome you and thank you for tuning into this episode. Enough of me blabbering, let's get on with the cooking. This is Coach Sean's Kitchen. So let's start with how to make Five Guys fries. I know, I know, tofu fries just sound crazy, but I really want you to stick with me on this one. The fries are crispy and protein packed, and best of all, they're low carb. So tofu is a majority water. So everything we're gonna do to prep the tofu is gonna revolve around removing as much water from the tofu as possible so that we can get a really crispy fry. So we're gonna take our block of tofu, we're gonna cut it in half, cut it into some fries, and then we are going to press all the water out of it. So I'm gonna lay down quite a few layers of paper towels, and you're gonna be amazed at how much water we squeeze out of this one block of tofu. So we'll squish the fries between two plates, and we'll come back in 30 minutes. Next up, we're going to cook our bacon. Now, if you've never made bacon in an air fryer, I am about to change your life. Once we started doing this, we have not been able to go back, and it's so simple. Just take your bacon, throw it on the sheet, put it in the air fryer. We do 400 degrees for around 10 minutes, but everybody likes their bacon a little bit different. So watch it, pull it when it hits that right crispiness that you're after. So the funny part is this bacon is so good that once it came out, we had to hide the bacon in the microwave, else we would have ate all of it. And then we forgot to put it on our burger at the end, which sounds horrible, but like it was 8 p.m. at night and I went to open the microwave to heat up some tea and bam, I found surprise bacon. So it wasn't all bad, but do me a favor when you make this, don't forget your bacon. Now back to our tofu fries. So if you have ever tried cooking tofu before, you know that tofu sticks to everything. So we're using parchment paper and we're gonna spray it with some nonstick spray as well. So taking a look at our tofu fries, you can see how much water we just squeezed out of those paper towels. They are soaking. So I'm gonna take my tofu fries and I'm gonna place them on a new paper towel and I'm gonna start adding some seasoning. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is add some cornstarch. This is another one of those tricks to really crisp up our fries. So I'm gonna dust some cornstarch on the top of them and next up, it wouldn't be Five Guys fries if they weren't Cajun. So I have some Cajun seasoning and I tasted it beforehand and it was pretty salty. So I didn't add any additional salt, but you need to check your seasoning. And if you need to add some salt, go ahead and do so. Anyways, season both sides, throw them in the air fryer for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees, flipping once. Let's go ahead and prep our veggies. So if you've ever been to Five Guys, you know that the way to have a burger is all the way, which means they're gonna add mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions and mushrooms, pickles, ketchup, and mustard. So let's go ahead and get all of these vegetables cut up. Onions and mushrooms, I'm gonna cut real thin so that they caramelize real nice. I'm gonna get a big thick slice of tomato and then I'm gonna cut up my pickles into those nice little pickle chips. So when making my own burgers, I take a page right out of Alton Brown's textbook. 
and that means I go for equal parts of ground round and ground sirloin. Ground round for the fat, ground sirloin for the flavor. And this makes a really juicy burger. And I like to keep it simple. So I'm gonna throw it all into a bowl, add some salt, and then I'm gonna use the best tools in your kitchen, a gloved up hand. And we're just gonna mix these burgers until they're thoroughly incorporated. As far as weighing them out, I shoot for a four ounce burger. Now, this is your recipe. You can make your burger as thick as you want. I like four ounces because I get a good ratio of crispy exterior to juicy interior. Now that everything's prepped, let's go ahead and start the actual cooking of our veggies in our burger. So I'm gonna start with a big old scoop of schmaltz on my griddle, which if you watched a previous episode, you know schmaltz is rendered chicken fat, or as I like to call it, culinary gold. So if you don't have this, I'll leave a link up there that you can click it and figure out how to make it, or if you just wanna use butter, olive oil, any sort of fat will do here. And the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna toss all of these veggies on the griddle and we're just gonna let them cook. Normally when I do this, I like to do it in a big cast iron pan with some higher sides. It's just a little easier, but we're making a Five Guys burger here. I gotta use the flat top. Anyways, we're gonna cook them, we're gonna stir them, we're gonna cook them, I'm gonna taste them, and once I've got them just about right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. Now, let's get on to the main event, grilling our burgers. So when I cook a burger, I shoot for medium. I mean, I go through the effort of grinding my own meat. Cooking it beyond medium would pretty much just be a bunch of wasted effort. But hey, it's your life. Cook your burger how you want to. So in order to achieve a medium cook, I find that four minutes on each side on medium heat gets it perfectly every time. So now that my burgers are on there, I'm also gonna put on my portobello mushrooms. These are just washed, salted, throw on the griddle, and they'll follow the same exact procedure as the burgers. Four minutes aside, I like to flip these a little bit more often, and occasionally I like to add a little bit more of that chicken fat on there as well. So I just temped mine, they came in just under 140, so I'm gonna pull them, they'll coast up to medium, and we can go ahead and start assembling our burger. So let's take a look at how everything came out. These five guys Cajun fries came out fantastic. They're crispy, and they definitely have that flair of Creole seasoning. Now, these don't replace French fries, but I swear that these crispy tofu fries fill a void that French fries just cannot. And as we mentioned earlier, high in protein, low carb, best of both worlds. Now onto the burger. We're gonna start by laying down some romaine lettuce, and then we're gonna top it with that portobello mushroom. We're gonna top it with some mayonnaise, homemade of course, and then we're gonna put our burger right on top of that. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and lay down one of our tomato slices, top that with some ketchup, and then the star of the show, some of those grilled onions and mushrooms. We'll finish with topping it with a few of those pickle slices, and then we'll put our last piece of lettuce on top because we forgot the bacon in the microwave. And it wouldn't be a Five Guy burger without a side of peanuts. So this is a burger that would please the gods. It was so well balanced. It was delicious, juicy burger. Everything played well together. And I still gotta say that my favorite part were those caramelized onions and mushrooms cooked in that chicken fat. It just tasted so good as a topping for those burgers. Now, is this a Five Guys burger? Eh, no. But I think it's something different. It's something special. And it's high protein, low carb, and absolutely delicious. Let me know in the comments what you guys are more excited to try. The Five Guys Burger all the way, or those Five Guys Cajun fries made out of tofu. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen. And as always, you can make anything homemade and healthy.